What up, what up, what up, my 4C gang? Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Comedian Michael Allen, where we do cooking, comedy, cussing, and cocktails. Cooking, comedy, cussing, and cocktail. 4C gang for life, baby. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? I'm back. I am back. Y'all had to take. Oh, so much has happened. I got so much to talk about. How y'all doing? First of all, y'all. Can we say congratulations to 1K? Congratulations. Finally, we made it to 1K. We did that, didn't we? Couldn't have done it without any of y'all. Baby, we did that. What? What? We at 1K finally. So, hopefully, whenever they send me anything, I'll be able to go live and we'll be able to talk in real time. Come on, y'all. Let's give y'all self a round of applause. Let me give y'all a round of applause. Y'all did that. You mean to tell me a thousand people love to hear my ass cuss and talk shit? A thousand people would want to hear me tell my motherfucking stories? What? Don't judge me. Judge your motherfucking self. Okay, y'all. I am so happy. I am feeling good. Okay, look. Let me tell you what it is. I was, it's Sunday, but this is not going to post until tomorrow because the reason I haven't posted any videos it's, it's something to do with the phone company. It's a big, long, drawn-out thing, but it'll be worked out tomorrow. So let me tell you what I got today, y'all, what I decided. I, I didn't have nothing to cook. I just went in there and said, okay, whatever's in my refrigerator. So I had some chicken breast, so I made some fried chicken breast. I made some cream of mushroom chicken breast. Look at that. Look how, oh, is that, look how delicious that it look. Okay, let me turn this a little bit, because that's too much. Okay, light, you're giving me too much light. Is that better, y'all? Look at that. Oh, my God. Then I got you some fried chicken. Then I got some beans and rice. Then I got some some hot water cornbread patties and some vegetables. You know what? I don't know why I didn't take a picture of my food, but it's all right. Is this? I need y'all to ask me a question. Is that too much light? Oh, hold on. Let me fix this up. This is one of those days, y'all. Hold on. Come on, we, the devil is alive. All right, well, there we go. Fuck, I'm, excuse it. Okay. I wish this would sit up a little higher, but higher and higher. Look at me. So, you know, you have to maneuver it. See, I can't wait till I get a, a um, production staff, and I can't wait till I'm as big as Billy Pitt, my sister, but no, I, you know what? I can't wait. Okay, y'all, let me say the first. Oh, I, oh, I'll tell y'all all this afterward. Okay. Dear Lord Jesus, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Father God. I thank you for all that you bless me with, Father God. I thank you for life. I thank you for still being alive, Father God. I thank you for you telling me to, putting it in my heart to, to not only stay on Facebook, but come on over here to YouTube, Father God. I thank you for that. I thank you for... The, the blessings that you're about to bestow upon me. Father God, I thank you for this food that I'm about to receive right now. Father God, I thank you for my mother and my father, which you know that because I tell you daily how much I appreciate you and how, how honored I am that I still have both of them here. Father God, I thank you. I thank you for life. I just thank you and I love you and I love you and I lift your name, oh Father God, in your son, Jesus' name, I pray, amen. Oh, ain't it good? Ain't it good? Ain't it? Okay. I got me some lemonade today. Ain't nothing. It's just my cocktail. I'll have one tomorrow, I guess. I always have to take it. Oh, I gotta go to the store and give me some more. This is pineapple. Oh, my God. So. Oh, I got some much to tell y'all. Shit. They tried me this weekend. Hold on. Oh. So this is what I did all weekend, you guys. Oh. Look at that cream. This was so simple. I didn't do much to it because I didn't have much in it. But I'm telling you. Look at that. Look. Look at that. Ah. Come on. Bit my lip. Mmm. I put a little, hmm, onions and green pepper, 
mushrooms and all that, you know. Um, I'm not a big chick, uh, chicken breast fan, but this one works. This one works for me. Oh my God, y'all. Mmm. So, I had to go in there because I'm not going to the grocery store tomorrow because I want to get some seafood stuff. Look at that. Look at that. That is pencil beans and rice, not red beans and rice. Mmm. Yeah. Ah. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh my God, this cornbread is so good. And I had to make um, Southern style because I had no milk. See how you have to work with what you got? I, it, it rained all day and I just didn't feel like going outside. Matter of fact, mmm, where the hot water pump is back here, so good. It rains the last two days. Mmm, come on y'all. You know what I could have did? I showed me y'all uh, me cooking, but I should have showed y'all me sitting in there just looking to see what I got, trying to figure out what can I make for dinner because I was out of everything. Look at that. Look, look at that bread. Look, that's the chicken breast right there. Ain't that delicious? Watch that. Look, oh, look how that, see? See how easy that come apart? Ain't no dry chicken breast here. Uh, Y'all thought I didn't know shit about breasts. I know all about motherfucking breasts. Mmm. Mmm. Sometimes, you have to do your meats in variety. Do different variety of meat. So, I want to thank everybody, the people in Detroit, for, for, First of all, let me tell y'all, I woke up that morning, a couple of days ago, I needed 21, I needed 21 more people in order to get to one cow. Now the day before I had went around, I was asking people, come on, please, subscribe to my channel. I was making them take their phone out right then and do it in front of me. You gotta work for some shit. You just don't, it just don't come to you because I was realizing I was stuck at 943 and 9, but you know, I was not going up. And I said, you know what? Ain't no, I like y'all to do this my damn self. Abraham Lincoln said, if you want something done right, do it yourself. So, I put on my little shirt. I tried to look like I was cute, but that wasn't hard. And then, I went and bought me a cocktail. See, a cocktail will make you, <laughs> you lose all inhibitions. So what I did was, I went downtown. And every person that came past, I was like, excuse me, you on YouTube, pull your phone up. And that's how I ran into the young people that did the promo for me. Oh, they were so cool. Oh my God. I gotta give them a shout out. I gotta find a paper with their names on. Matter of fact, hold on one. So yeah, they were really helpful. We did that a thousand times. We finally got it. Thank God for it. Um. But let me tell you this, what really bothered me. We right now in a movement of Black Lives Matter, right? 
we 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 marching for equality. Oh, treat us the same. But my thing is this: we got to treat each other the same first. And I'm gonna give y'all a good example. When I was downtown, now mind you, I had the shirt on. I was more than six feet away because I was, hey, excuse me, you on YouTube? Now, I love my black people, but I have to say, now I'm not saying all of them because it was a, it was some black women down there. I, I didn't get their name, but they took pictures so I knew they were real. There's a, let me take a picture of your shirt. I'm going to subscribe because I was explaining. It's cussing. You know, I'm real. I do story time. It's not for children. But the people that got smart with me or looked at me were black women. And I love black women because I come from a long line of them. But now, if I was any other race, I would, would have felt like, okay, that's where that angry black woman stigma come from. Because the one lady, I said, excuse me, man. I, what, what, what? I, I. Ma'am, all you had to do was say, you know, I'm busy right now. You didn't even get a chance to hear what I was saying. That's why a lot of, that's why a lot of black women miss out on good men because you, you, you're doing all this too quick. Let that attitude go some damn time. And now, now, mind you, I'm not saying all women. I'm just saying most of the ones I encountered the other day. The one lady looked at me like I had a sign in my hand that said, hey, I work for food or you got some change. And Cause I, even, I said, ma'am, did it, do it look like I was about to? But you know what? I, you know, I should have videotaped those, but I just didn't want our black women to look bad, you know? Black women, stop thinking all men are no good or all black men up to something or we all scheming on something or, you know, and it's a shame, and I'm not blaming them. Maybe I don't know what they've been through in life. That you can't, you know, even a lot of times when I walk and say, how you doing? They don't speak back. Like, you don't, you can be all that and have it going on without letting other people have it. The white women I went up to, they listen, sure, uh -huh. okay, what's your name? Oh, and just, look, no problem. And you would think that they would be the ones more intimidated by a black man than that. The one girl, she did all of this, uh-uh, you know, uh -huh. yeah, okay, uh-huh. Girl, you don't know what name or nothing. You walking on the back of your house shoes, your new growth longer than your fucking hair, but see, I didn't say none of that. Your face looking like a Nestle Crunch bar. Okay, but I didn't talk about none of that. And you wonder why we want to let your ass have it sometime. You walk around looking like a Nestle Crunch bar by the face. All them dead, all that damn acne. Hell, I'd be mad too and keep walking about look like that. But now you see, if I had to did all of that, hold on one minute. Okay, that was my neighbor bringing my plate back. He must have really liked it or threw it away one. And he he gave me money. Okay. So anyway, you know, we started talking about black lives, black, 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 but we letting each other have it. How can we expect other races to respect us if we're not respecting each other? You know, it's a shame when our brother go. I feel more comfortable speaking to a white person than I do a black person. And not because nothing happened, it's just... My black sister disappointed me. My black sister really disappointed me. Not all of them. But it was several... Okay. You can be a strong black woman without being so mean or so angry. 
You know what? It kind of made me realize why my older sister so angry. Not angry, but why everybody thinks she's mean and evil. You know, because you do for yourself. Is that another aspect of it? No, you can do for yourself and still be happy-go-lucky and how you doing and not let nobody give up, get over on you. I was really true. I was really. But because of that, like I said, it was some some of my black women out there were cool, but the majority of them, like I said. So I I got up to seven hundred and ninety-seven subscribers. I was like, yeah. I only need three more. I feel like I was Campaigning for the president of the United States or something, the way I was running around. So, here's another lesson here. I needed three more. And it was three Arab guys sit down. All at the table. I guess having slushies or something. That's excuse me, fella. Looks like you. I explained to them, look, I'm on YouTube. They look like, okay. So the one automatically pulled his phone out and he started going. So I go to the other two, I said, well, put your phone out. You know, now y'all would be my, y'all would get me to a thousand. One K right now. So the other one did it. <laughs> so the other guy's sitting there and it's taking him for, I said, are you going to pull your phone out and do it? I said, well, what I got to do? What do I got to do for you to subscribe? Because you would be my thousand subscriber. I'm at 799. So I act like I was getting down on my knees. <laughs> I said, what do I have to do? He said, oh, no, oh, no, I'm, I'm subscribing. But he opened his legs wide open. See, that was some old freaky shit. I, you know what I told you? I would hope for a subscriber. But I didn't have to. <laughs> oh, I got to one pain. Finally. Mm, mm, mm. But I went out there and literally begged beg for those subscribers. You hear me? Some of them was like, here, here. Um, I really enjoy watching them. Um, I really enjoy watching I mean, seeing them, getting the people to do my promos for me. But my thing is also there. I have enough damn family. I should be at 4,000 right now. Shout out to all my big ass plethora of family. Uh. Yeah. I shouldn't have had to struggle to that 1K, but I'm there, so I ain't complaining. This is so motherfucking. Uh. This hot water cornbread patty is. And this is Southern style. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. So right now, I'm in a good player. So, for well, congratulations to getting the one k I'm going to do a review celebration video where um. I got one young lady in mind, me and her mic go, and we're gonna do a review. This will be within the next couple of days. And we'll sit there. It'll be a celebrating me at 1K, and yet also doing a review. I just gotta figure out what restaurant I'm gonna do it at. Matter of fact, what would be nice is anybody in Detroit <laughs> I ain't think of that. If you in Detroit and you want to come celebrate, come celebrate and do a review at the same time. We're cooking with Comedian Mike Wild and be on the show. You know? Mm. Maybe next time. Maybe when I get to 2,000 or 1,500, one or the other, I'll give a big old banquet like I uh, like uh, not all you can eat, but a taste test, something like that, where I cook my own food. 
and everybody can review me. But in, oh y'all, you know what? I meant to use my cup that my sister gave me. Look at me, I'm 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 messing up. I gotta learn how to sell myself. It's, I sold myself out there on the street though that day. <laughs> I got to that one K, didn't I? All right, so my neighbor really liked the food. Thank you. Look, I got the money sitting right there. He was so that was so nice of him. Uh oh, I hope I ain't gave him no money. I gotta give him something else. <laughs> what? Don't judge me. Judge your damn self. Go. So, I'm trying to get my mother to come on. Well, yeah. I'm trying to get my mother to come on. Now, she should be receiving a tape from Eat with Philly Phil, my big sister. Tomorrow. I'm going to try my damn to get my mama to do a, a tell us what you think of it on camera which is not going to do huh you could have checked me off I mean I could have it's all in the way you season some shit Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My God. Mm. So, what has been going on with you guys? Thank y'all for all the congratulations. See, I can't even get on my other phone right now. Even if I wanted to read back the comments because uh, all the shit with Boots Mobile. I make me want to leave Boots Mobile. Oh my God. So, when I, get my, when I do my first live, y'all know already. I'm, I'm going to tell y'all two or three days in advance. Look, this day I'm going to do a live. I am happy, you guys. Well, I put too much on my plate, then I? Oh, and I forgot my hot dog. Where's my hot dog? Okay, y'all. When I eat, I get so, so, um, Just kebabalate. <laughs> so yes, I you know had a good time, you know getting the people to subscribe. I had a, a rude awakening of how some of them girls treated me, and then it was one girl. I could tell the guy was gay, cause you know we know our own. You know I could tell. He was a little feminine. So I'm like, hey. And then she come up just like that. And I'm looking like, and I'm looking at her. And she just ran, and I'm talking to him though. And I almost started to tell her, see, you the reason why I suck dick. No, <laughs> you the reason why I don't fuck. It's just you, you, right? You, not the women race, you. Yeah. I mean, her hair was so short. Okay, I'm just joking. I was about to, I was about to crack a joke, and I was about to steal a joke from somebody from 20 years ago. I don't know why that just popped in my head, but see, I don't do that, so I didn't do the joke. 
Shout out to my boy Foolish because that was his joke and I don't know why I thought it was mine. I apologize. Anybody know Foolish? Foolish, I'm sorry, my nigga. I almost used your joke that you used just... That's one thing about comedians. When comedians say... I remember here in Detroit, it was... Who was that? Foolish Kool-Aid. A friend of mine, Courtney, and all of us, we would, be, we would drive to Flint every day doing this play. Can you imagine comedians in a car together... Half the time, I was drunk and high. <laughs> and us just going back and forth at each other. I mean, and if, if we would get each other so good that my side would be hurt. It was, yeah, me, Foolish and Kool-Aid, we would just go at it. All three, we would get each other, oh, rest in peace to my boy Kool-Aid. He, he passed away in cancer, too. Rest in peace. But yeah, wow, that all just, that all just, I was about to use his joke, but see, Okay, that's a whole, one day I'm going to do a whole fucking video just on comedian. You think um, women are caddy and top models and, and and all of that? No. You ain't seen shit till you be in the back room with some comedians. Oh, my Lord. I've been doing this shit for 20-something years. I know. I remember I did a comedy show. I had just came out on the scene. Huh. And I had one, and all jokes aside, the week before. Which comedians very rarely won. It was always a singer or a rapper or something. So, they had this thing down at um, Coco's House of Comedy. It was a comedy show. And so I got in it. I met my boy, my Martini Harris. Shout out to Martini Harris. It was Kool-Aid, it was, um, I think Bobo Lamb, um, Joe Blunt. Um, I forget my boy name. Oh my God, he my nigga too. He's coming to McDonald's, he says, kids up. Oh my God, I'm mad because I don't actually remember his name. But anyway, all of us, so I'm in the back room and I'm new. I'm like the newest of everybody. This is like my third, fourth time performing. And I'll never forget I was sitting there and I used to do this joke about masturbation and touching yourself. And it was a funny ass joke too. And I remember this guy, so all the comedians in the back. And you know, that's really intimidating because motherfuckers don't want to say nothing too funny because they don't want you to steal their joke, you know, blah, blah, blah. So the guy come up to me and he said, yo dog, you was really funny, you know, talking about what I won. I said, thank you. He said, but you know that one joke you do about uh, touching yourself? I do a joke about touching myself, too. I said, okay. He said, well, you know, you shouldn't use that. Because I I said, how about you just better make sure you're as funny than mine, motherfucker. What the fuck you gonna tell? You don't I, like, I, nigga, I don't even know who you is. They ain't never saw you. So now, me by me being a new kid on the block, I go up before, because... As you're a comedian, you want to, because you want the crowd to be settled in and everything. The earlier you go up, people walking in the door and stuff. So, of course, I was going up before her. Do y'all know when I got up on that stage, baby, I, I drugged, I I drugged that masturbation joke out so motherfucker long and got so many that he couldn't even do the masturbation joke because I had water in the ground. See, don't give me no motherfucking challenge. Don't come up to me and tell me what I can't do it. Watch me do it. He would have been better off not saying shit. I wonder, I can't even remember who that was. I cannot remember who the hell he was. That show you how good he was, because I don't even know who the hell he was. <laughs> so, but I love comedy. I love doing comedy. I think me using a little humor the other day is how I got to the thousand. And, you know, me using humor. And all of that, and my little body sometimes, you know, my, my nipples was a little hard. And that turned some people on. Uh, you know, you look how you gotta become the people. I know I'm gonna hear some uh, feedback because I talked about that girl face looking like Nestle Crunch Bar. 
Who she was so ugly with her mother? But don't be ugly and have a motherfucking attitude. Bitch, smile, make me like you. You know, you got a lot of people mad just because they ugly. Bitch, it ain't my fault you're ugly. And nowadays, there's too much shit you can do not to look ugly. And furthermore, while we on there, sometimes you ugly because of your attitude, not because of how you look. Come on, somebody. Come on. Yeah. Well, that really was an eye-opener to me. And my people did me a lot worse than other races. The other races, whether they signed up, or even if they didn't have you to this, oh, oh, they would let me finish and listen to me and go, oh, me no have, me no have, um, me no have um, YouTube. I say, huh? Then they said, me no speak, me no speak of English. I say, ma'am, you just did. <laughs> Might have been broken English, but just still spoke it, Alpha. But anyway, I missed all that. The devil tried to stop me. <laughs> but God wouldn't let him. <laughs> Come on, somebody. So, I just think everybody, I want to thank these people. See, this is the difference with young people and older people. I said write your name down so I can give you a shout out. They write uh, Instagram and, and email. I don't know Okay, I've been calling my boy, Sabaj. That's, oh, he was really hilarious. He sung too. He could sing. Y'all need to check him out. It is Sabaj, S E V A U G E. So I guess this is C C S E H H hyphen B A H J. I don't know what that is, but maybe that's the Instagram or something. And then you got at tree dot. People dot R A R E dot real R E A L. Now, what? Why couldn't I just get like Becky and Joseph and, and, and Alonzo? They gave me this, but they did my best promo yet. I love their promo. Did y'all like the bloopers? Because we made a lot. Oh, we laughed and laughed. Okay, let me do that again. At tree T R E E dot people P E O P L E dot A R E dot R E A L. Then I'm gonna do my boy Savage again. At S E V A U G E. Then he has under this C S E H A hyphen B A H J. And then you got at Cinnamon Dominican. Cinnamon Dominican. At Cinnamon Dominican. At C I N N A M O N D O M I N I C A N. And then underneath that it has at dash A dash E dash R dash I dot dash S. Now y'all ask me what that is. I have no idea, but I hope somebody got it. I hope the younger generation can do it. You know, I was kind of shocked because when I was out there with them, you know, considering I was probably old enough to be all of their parents, all of their daddy, that I look good and I held my motherfucking own standing next to them. I smiled. Oh, I kept my titties was perky. I mean, my chest was out. Did I just say my titties was perky? <laughs> but my chest was out. I held my head up high. I stood up for us over 50 crowd. God damn it. Oh, thanks for the weed, y'all. Oh, the guy. Oh, that was, that was, they're really good. My bro, my one bro is from Miami. Maybe that's, I know damn well his name ain't at Cinnamon. I thought he had his hand on my ass when we was trying to do the pro. You know what, no, well, I get it now, Cinnamon Dominican. He touched my ass. I'm gonna have to hit him up. As if we wanna come do another pro bout. Okay, y'all, let me stop. I am silly. Oh, y'all, this is so delicious. Why am I talking shit? I love thicker. I was trying to tell my mama how to do her chicken strips tonight because she took out some chicken strips. She said, okay, I, I have to go over there and fix them for her. 
So, okay, y'all. Thank you, guys. Thank you. 40 guys. Cooking, coming, cussing their cocktails. Cooking, coming, cussing their cocktails. Cooking. Coming. Cussing and cocktails. Ah! Oh, you know what? When I do the, um, the one video for 1, 1K appreciation, that's what it's going to be called, my 1K appreciation video. Come on, somebody. Ah! Uh. But we just got to go up from here, you guys. All right, so look. I got to go to the gas station. Thank you. To all my 4C game, 4C game for life, baby. To all my family that's, that has subscribed. To all my friends that have subscribed. To all my enemies that just being motherfucking nosy want to know what the fuck I'm doing, trying to see if I'm a fail or not. Thank you all, too. For any of my exes that I had sex with and it wasn't about shit. Thank you. To my exes that I had sex with and it was good as hell and I bust out a couple of your windows and slashed a couple of your tires. Thank you. To my teachers, who I never liked. Okay. <laughs> but no. Um, thank you guys. Like I said, I'm, I am good. I am good. Because I already know, you know, I, I think I'm prophesizing when I say sometime I know what's going to happen. Okay, I was really reaching for that. I was trying to joke it. But anyway, do me a favor. Thank you, and if this is your first time coming to my channel, please, subscribe. Go down there and subscribe. Then I want you to go down right here and, 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 and hit like, right? Then I want you to go down right here and share these nuts in your mouth. That's <laughs> no, then I want you to, wait, I forgot what I was doing now. Like, subscribe, share. And last but not least, y'all already know. Ring my bell. Well, ring my bell. My bell. Ring a ring a ring. Look, you can ring my bell anytime, any day. Just ring it. Ring it. Go ahead and ring the bell. Or go to hell. <laughs> Look, this is your boy. Comedian. Cooking with comedian Michael Allen. Where we do comedy, cussing. Cocktails and what else? Cooking. Shit, I forgot. 4C gay. But like, we at 1K, baby. We at one motherfucking K, baby. Yes, we is. Yes, we is. Hey. Hey. 1K. 1K. What? 1K. 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 1K, bitch. 1K, bitch. 1K, bitch. Ah. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Look, you guys, I love y'all. But not more than I love my damn self. What? Don't judge me. Judge your damn self. This comedian Michael Allen. I'm out. Peace.